Now the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago, he is suffering from flu-like symptoms, made his way onto the court just moments ago, and as you see right here, looking a bit shaky. He was up all last night, spent all day in bed, did not eat at all, did not uh, go to the shoot-around earlier today, did not practice, so uh, his status is uncertain. Ahmad Rashad and Jim Gray will have more on this as the game progresses. Matt, this on top of the Bulls coming off the extremely uh, disappointing loss the other night. A game they led by five with about two and a half minutes to go. As we get set for game five between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz. And for more on these two clubs, let's check in with the Dean, Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Marv. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms. He had a stomach ache and a headache, and he couldn't go back to sleep. He threw up all night, and as reported earlier, he missed the shoot-around, but he was in bed all day and continued to throw up. As a matter of fact, he got in here early. When I went to talk to him back in the back room, he was in a dark room trying to get some rest, but, but still throwing up. And, Marv, I talked to him. I said, how do you feel? He said, I really feel horrible. But his history in games where he's either been hurt or sick has been bad news for the opponent. And as you can see, he's ready to go tonight. Mark? All right, thanks, Ramon. And the Utah Jazz control the tip. Too far out of his range there. I just don't think Carl had any idea what the shot clock was. And Jordan trying to slip it. And then turn it back and hit. So Michael Jordan, despite visibly shaken by the flu symptoms at Chicago 2. Marv, Utah's got the quick start that they needed to keep the crowd into it. And Michael Jordan able to line drive it home for his second field goal. The uh, red hot opening quarter. Chicago just 5 to 15. Michael Jordan is back putting the move on Chris Mars. So Jordan has six points, three of six. And Michael Jordan coming out, resting the last couple of minutes of that first quarter, just a little right to left move to easily shake. He carries so much of the load as Hornacek, back to back, horrible turnovers for Utah. And Jordan puts moves on Hornacek. Run away, Harper gets it, and then this is a helpless situation. Jordan is going to score on any three guys guarding him there. Longley Crawford because uh, Stockton and Harper were pushing on the lineup. Jordan to the crossover. Yes. Not bad for a guy playing with uh, <laughs> Well, there's a theory that if you're hurting some or not feeling particularly well, that it heightens your awareness and concentration. You take a little more effort. Second <laughs> quarter. It's down a three-point jazz lead. And the steal by Jordan. Putting behind the back on Russell, he turned it around and fed it to Pippen. Tipped home by Jordan. What a play by Michael Jordan. Well, Chicago is in that mode now. Any mistake made by Utah, long rebound, steal. They are getting out and flying. Now John Stockton out of control. Passing on the move right into the hands of Michael Jordan with Scotty Pippen filling the lane for the nice finish and Jordan and Rashad back at the Delta Center a little update on Michael Jordan as he walked by me coming out to warm up for the second half I asked him how he felt and it was the first time I had seen a smile on his face but the smile was looking back at me like are you kidding I am really sick I asked Chip Shaver the trainer Chicago down by two Jordan got the step Jordan has tied the game at 63 Remaining in the third. It is 2 2 right now in this game number five. As Michael Jordan cuts it to a five point Jazz lead. With 11 points off the bat. Jordan, yes, the Jazz 77 and the Bulls 71. Able to come up with it on the deflection. Jordan fires for three. Yes. And he's tied the game at 77. And he did it in cash. Confidence, discipline, the exchange between Pippen and Jordan. Once, twice, right back. You do it, big guy. Pump fake, freezes the defense, the jumper, net. Then he staggers back to the bench, near exhaustion, 
ready to fall over. He's got his team tied now. <laughs> Where is that bench? He gets there and sits back. And oh. <laughs> they put the ice bag on his neck. He won't even take the Gatorade. He doesn't want to waste any energy. No high fives, no lifting water to his mouth. He is exhausted. The ball's at one point, left by one. Russell on Jordan. Anderson cheating over. Shot clock at seven. Jordan shooting. Yes. Chicago 79 and Utah 77. But well, if this cut across by Michael getting open, wants to really drive, but not a good enough spacing by the rest of the Chicago Bulls, but just that little shake was able to get Brian Russell on his heels. Jazz lead. Bulls have missed their last six shots. Jordan, yes. But Jazz by one. All paying off right now with Jordan masterfully at the line. Scoop up the loose ball for the possession with 40 seconds remaining. The game tied at 85. Ten on the shot clock. Pippen backing Hornacek. Here's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan from straight away in the fourth quarter. That's hard to believe that you can lose track of time and score as Carl Malone did there right next to Pippen. He does have five fouls. No excuse. Should have committed one there. Michael Jordan playing on heart and spirit. The missed free throw here. Everybody's standing there. And then the furthest guy from the ball, Michael Jordan, comes up with it. And then he backs it out. They post up Scotty. And then for no reason, they double team Scotty down low and leaving Michael Jordan. He knocks down this three, gives him the huge lead, and then the total exhaustion on the bench. Michael Jordan, sucking air, got their back massage from Scottie Pippen. I think Chicago just fouls right here, makes it a free throw game the rest of the way. Down to six and two tenths seconds. Two tenths of a second remaining. The inbounds and the Chicago Bulls have defeated the Utah Jazz to take a three games to two lead. They win it 90 to 88. A courageous, classic performance by the flu ridden Michael Jordan.